what happens in the brain when something is fair or unfair? For a long time it was impossible to answer this question because we had no way of looking into the brain. Today we can scan the brain using fMRI technology. And together with researchers at the University of Bergen, we use this technology in a neuroeconomic study of how the brain responds to fairness. In our study, we first let the participants work for different lengths of time doing ordinary office work. Some participants work for 30 minutes earning 250 Norwegian kroners, while other participants work for 90 minutes earning 750 Norwegian kroners. After they had completed the work task, we matched the participants in pairs, with participants working 30 minutes being matched with participants working 90 minutes, so that their total earnings always was 1,000 Norwegian kroners. We then took the participants and placed them in the scanner. And in the scanner, they were presented with different distributions of the total earnings on a computer screen. And we were then asked to evaluate each distribution on a scale from very bad to very good. And they knew that one of these distributions would be randomly drawn at the end to determine their actual payment. Our main finding is that the brain reacts to fairness in exactly the same way as it reacts to money to yourself. In both cases, the brain's reward system, the striatum, is activated. But the brain is not concerned with income inequalities per se. The brain finds fair income inequalities that reflect differences in work contributions. In other words, your brain is a big fan of fairness, but not always of equality. We believe our findings are important at two levels. First, they shed light on what happens in the brain when we evaluate different income distributions and what the brain views as a fair income distribution. Secondly, our findings show that people not only pretend to care about fairness, our concern for fairness seems to be hardwired into our brain. To conclude, your brain is a big fan of fairness. It is also a big fan of money to yourself, which implies that sometimes you have to make trade-offs between fairness and self-interest. Maybe something to keep in mind when you think of yourself and your own behavior, and definitely something governments and businesses should keep in mind when they design policies and strategies and when they interact with employees and customers.